Oh my god. Oh, lagi aku agak jadi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Oh wow. my god. Hey guys, how is everyone? My god, jika santa baku na talaga. I need to lose weight. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Sobra na to. Hindi ko man lang. I didn't even notice. It's already summer uh, starting next week. So I don't have a choice. I have to ano na stop eating rice and stop thinking that it's we're still in quarantine. So I have to start and, na my and, diet. But then you bitch, you're in a barbecue right now. I know. By the way, guys, I'm wearing a jacket. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing this Bulls. Yeah, it's a the jersey, a jersey that I know. Uh, who's in the beginning? It's Phenom Sportswear. Oh, right? Phenom! Oh my God! So, wow. We have one as well, but we have to go to Brooklyn, New York, para i, I ano dalhin sa you yung anian it delivers sa you. Oh yung, wait. Because I'm going to see you maybe next week or the next two weeks. Yes, right? yes, yes. We're gonna definitely. Oh, oh. Para ayoko mo na magpakita kasi gusto ko mo na maglose ng twenty pounds. Girl, tapos ano para mo sa nasabi yan? Paano ako nagpakita? Ano ba? Oh my oh, god. Oh. Hindi. Ito totoo na to. Oh, by the way. Oh, uh, oh we just want to say hi, ha. Sa mga oh my, may, may mga naglalag e na hi. Ma Tita Maha, Maylene is watching. Hi, JP Pilares, hi. Mayang. Uh, si Mayang, hi Mayang, and Boyet SFSS is watching. So, anyways, guys, by the way, good morning, Pilipinas, and yes. good evening, USA. <laughs> and good morning night to everyone. Good morning night to, to everyone. everyone. Yes. In the world right now. Sa lahat ng mga nanunood all over the world. Kung nasa Happy man kayo. Happy Memorial Weekend. Happy Memorial Weekend sa US. And yes. kung sino man ang mga nanunood ngayon, hello po. Eh, nag, po, eh. nagsisisi po ako, hindi po ako namubas ng bahay at sumama kay Jesse sa po, <laughs> kasama po niya <laughs> ang mga barkado namin at oh, wow, okay. nag ka, pero po in, don't be concerned, you know why? First, di ba ang first of all, ang laki po ng lote, pa, pwede po siyang park. O kaya, yes, ano, two acres actually. Oh. Thank you so much by the way to to Ram, Joyce, thank you for inviting us. My God, they have like a huge place here at two acres. Uh, farm, di pa farm. Two acres place na talagang lahat kami nandito para tay. Uh, we would like to say hi to Colleen, hi to Randy, Lizette, Lizette at mga yeah. actually nandun sila sa baba. And, Lizette, and, and Verdi, everyone. Kaya talang ang barbecue niyo, di ba? Yes. Bago pumasok sa sa uh, ektarya ano muna? Meron muna ng oh yes, testing yes. sila. Covid nineteen test. Ganon. Uh -oh. uh, it's so it's so sad, no? We have this is our new normal. We have to make sure na you know, kailangan itest muna before kami pumasok sa party. But guess what? It's not even, a lot of people are asking me if it's available anywhere, the testing kits, but it's not. Um, It just so happened that we have a, a good friend na uh, meron siyang access doon. So, Kinakaw yun lang. Hindi oh, <laughs> naman. Hi, that's Colleen. Hi, Colleen. That's Colleen. That's our good friend. And Jan, mommy, I'm going to chick it. And we will I, inter interview Colleen. I don't want to well. say I'm like, excited to use the COVID 19 testing kit, but I'm actually I'm interested in, in, in getting the, my blood drawn. And how long is the testing? Niya? Uh, for 10 minutes. 10 ah. minutes, you will find out if you're a po if you're positive or negative or whatever. Oh my God, I'm going to go to the hospital. Hindi okay. Hindi to go to the hospital. Hindi to go to the hospital. Hindi to go to Pinaghand, pinaghandaan ni Jekas, oh. I know, my God! Girl! Ayan, si Joyce girl, is here! Girl, girl nag is kami, here! nag Indeed. kami 15 minutes pa. Ay, nako, ang init. Nag-init ako. Oh my God, oo. Oh, 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 sobrang, ang oh, guwapo. Oh, oh. Texan, by the way, hi, Gio! Gio, magiging ano, guest host natin yan. One of these yeah. days, ha? Oh, hindi kayo hindi, sasampaling kita. So anyways, okay. Guys, tama na dakdaka namin ni, ni Jekas. We want to introduce to you guys a lot of people are waiting because sobrang sexy nitong ating guest for tonight and thank you so much thank you so much pinaunlakan mo kami oh di ba pinaunlakan mo kami and thank you so much mr eric cayetano for introducing our guest for tonight and hi to tito roli for of course lagi kang nagsusponsor ng aming wine di ba mga astig na wine yeah. na sponsor niya wala pa yung wine na yan dito sa brooklyn i uh -oh. have my mango uh, Cosmo, Mango Vodka. Cosmo, yes. Okay. So guys, ito, hindi na namin patatagalan because a lot of people, a lot of viewers and listeners are waiting for this sexy, sexy, hot, diba? PBA X player, okay? So i-intro ko na siya, ha? Okay, guys. Our guest for tonight is one of the hottest X-PBA player who's mostly known as the 
Dennis Rodman off the Philippines basketball. He played in the PBA for 14 season and won a championship for Hinebra. Mga Hinebra fans, hello po. Andi dito na po. His tattooed body and his bad boy image became his trademark. Wala, ayan na yung mga titan. Sexy na ganyan. So guys, let's get to know him better. And we would like to welcome you guys. Mr. Alex Cusano! Welcome! Alex, Hello, how are you? How are you doing all of us? Oh my God! Alex, by the way, do you speak Tagalog or English? Do you understand uh, at least? Just a little bit. Taglish, you can. Okay. Lang. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but do you understand Tagalog or you don't? Yes, yes. Oh. Opo, opo, yeah. maki, opo, maki, opo. Alam mo, I'll be honest with you, wala ka pa rin kupas. Did you understand what I said? Kupas, wala I don't kupas? know. That. <laughs> no, until now, you haven't changed a bit. No, um, definitely not. You know, life is life is great. I, I never, I, I don't look at, you know, things and, and fall back into them. I, I, I just move forward and, you know, it, it's a blessing, you know. Life is just full of amazing things. So I stay who I am and it is what it is. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. Alex, but you, you are yes. still H O T, capital H O T hot. What's the mind? Oh my God. Gio said, okay, one of our good friends who's a, a big fan of yours, Gio, Gio Edward Buka said, Napapakanta ako ng yami ni Justin Bieber. You know what just, he just said? No, he, he said, like, he just want to say, he would just want to sing the yummy song yummy by song Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. <laughs> So, dude, Alex, so Alex this, is, this, is what, this is what you're doing right now, this live broadcast. The girls and all the gays are all live. <laughs> so this is all your fault, The gays Alex, okay? and the single uh, people. Dude, yeah, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's part of it. It's just part of life, man. Everybody's, um, I thank you and I appreciate that you still look at me like that. Uh, I'm, I'm older now. I'm 44. Um, oh, you don't look like I'm gonna it. I'm going to be honest with you, but, you know, uh, it's a blessing and a curse, as as I could say. And okay. you know, being in the Philippines, uh, I I just love the people. I love the 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 crowd. The you know the the fans were crazy. I mean, even the even the can I say bakla or yeah bakla? Yeah, yes, I mean, you can I say. Mean, you can even I'm curse. Gonna, Fuck it. But I, 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 I walk. I I don't want to curse, but. <laughs> the Bucklots were the best as fans because they were just so saya saya, so brang saya. Ah, saya saya. Magdangko ko, magdangko ko. Tapos ka, oh, you know. Oh my god. So, oh my god. You know, it it was fun. I tell you that it was something to say. That oh I'll my god! Forget. And look at that. Oh, by but they got, By the way, before we um, before we um, was that uh, we continue, continue our chit chat, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Do you have a glass of wine? Oh no oh, no! Whatever. Before that, can you share this page? Did you share it? How, Not yet. Do you want to share it? I'm so I'm, I'm so. Uh, oh, no. that computer dumb? Uh, you, sh you shared it? Not yet. No no. Uh, no wait, how do you do it? You teach him. Did I go okay. over to the uh, underneath Tom? underneath that's yeah underneath that like what we were talking on the video. There's a okay. share share um not, not button there. there. Well, if no, if it's if it's in oh, Facebook, oh. you have to exit. Yes, he has to exit Facebook. It's okay. Oh, he's only using we one. Have, we have an ample time. Yes, we have an ample time. He can do that. Okay. Yes, he can do that. Ooh. He is. See, do you no 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 over a bottle? What I need. I told you. I don't want to touch nothing. It's okay. It's okay. Later, later. We will teach we can, you again we can later. Do that okay? later. Yeah. All right. Uh, we yeah. can do that later. So right now, uh, do you have the bottle of wine? I, a glass yeah, of I not have, a bottle, a, a glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn! <laughs> okay, yes, you do have. Oh okay. my god, so, I'm, a I'm a Viking. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, so yeah. now what we're gonna do is, of course, we would like to welcome you with our protocol toast. Okay. Yeah. So everybody right. and Mr. Alex Cristano, welcome to. Let's do. Over, over a glass, a glass or, or two. two. Cheers. Over a glass or two or a bottle. Or Cheers. A bottle oh, two. Cheers. <laughs> Yes. With, with you in here, I need a bottle. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Omg. Sobra. So, ito si Gio talaga. Talagang nakpo. 
my god, mga bakla. Just ko mga bakla, maglabasan na kayo. So anyways, the, bak the baklas okay. are commenting. They're, they're hot baklas, in, the, in the live comments, Alex. The bakla are like like all over. Like, right, they're like screaming them, you know, in OMG. They were, of, they were a part of my career, so it's like, you know, I I I love them. They, they were just so fun to be around. You know, there's just the, the energy, you know, the being funny and just entertaining at the same time. That's what I really fell off of, you know, just that type of people, you know what I'm saying? All right. And we baklas appreciate you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate y'all too. Oh man, my god. Real. I know. My god, mga bakla, they appreciate Alex Crisano. So Alex, okay. Oh, okay. by the way, uh, because you guys, everybody I uh, I've been receiving text messages like uh are we talking about, are we gonna talk about like technical, you know, technical things about basketball? basketball. No, we are not. We would like to know. To Mr. Alex Crisano, you know, like, wow. kung sino talaga siya, you know, as, as nga, it's been a while. Jesse and yes. Alex, as much as I like uh, balls bouncing around or over my nose, over my head, whatever, uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know shit about basketball, but yeah, I know they're hot and I like to watch them. There you go. Oh my God. Exactly. Um, I think that's the reason so, why and I, I was so loved in the Philippines because I never looked at anybody different. I treated everybody equal. Um, that's why, you know, probably misunderstood because I was at a level of being professional, but at the same time, I don't want to be professional because I enjoyed the, the, the Filipino people so much. And yeah. being with them, it brought a lot of fun and, and to my career, to my to my life. And um it was it was awesome. I, I I would never I would never change nothing about it. I would never change or do anything to make it better. So it was wait, the Alex, best. Where I ever are had. you located? Yeah, right where now, are you loca located right now? Oh, uh, right now I had to leave New York to come to Florida to take care of my parents. Um, my my father's not doing too well. My mother needs help with my father. So, since I have the chance to you know come down here, uh, I, I I'm gonna help as luxury. much as I can. Because we are five children. Okay. And we can't the, rest of them have, the rest of them have families and responsibilities. My responsibility, I left in the Philippines, my kids, and I had I to come understand. home. Uh, Alex, and, I'm sorry. You, you, um, you're logging right now, so we cannot. Well, actually. Uh, oh, um, only me? Yeah, only you. Because uh, Alex Guys, is I'm crystal clear. <laughs> I mean, visually and audio-wise. and audio, and, uh, audio -wise, But I... Uh, Jesse on her end, she's not. Uh, oh, there's get, something wrong with her. Yeah, she's not getting it clear. So, we're, so she, uh, they're gonna fix that on their end for now. But okay. Yeah. So. Okay. But I do. But we do, we do appreciate you being in here. You know. I mean, like when I saw the when I saw when I found out like you, you'll be guesting as like, and then plus your poster was like, oh, I remember him. <laughs> you know. Yeah, those, like, are my, those are my younger years, man. Those are it, my. It, it was like it's like. It's like uh, I didn't follow basketball in the Philippines, but definitely <laughs> you, made a, you made a mark. Yeah, you made a mark yeah. um, in terms of, uh, let's say, sh show business in sport. Yeah. If they intertwine, and that, and 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 in my much. side, and you know, that's oh, when I saw you. Oh, oh my God! Look at this yeah. hot, look, tall, tall <laughs> drink of water. How, how tall are you anyway? Oh, I'm six foot six. So. Ooh. Oh my oh, god. Damn. Oh, sorry guys. I, I couldn't hear you earlier. Um oh, for some reason okay. my internet was like yeah. Well, like you we were like, oh, so what were you talking about earlier? I couldn't hear you guys. Oh, That's I, in my I, internet. I said, um, I'm, I'm in Florida right now. And um Okay. Just with my dad taking care of him. We are we are four kids in the family, plus me five. And um I just oh wow. I, I, I have to take care of my father. He's not doing too well. I have the opportunity to come here and do what I can for him. Because the other ones have families and obligations they got to stick up to. You know, they have their own kids. But the opportunity came. God gave me an answer. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go by it. And I'm going to keep going until my father needs me, you know. Oh, and, and oh I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to hear about your dad. So, yeah. I'm so sorry. Sure you originally, you are in? Florida. I'm, I'm from New York City. Oh, okay. So I, am, I, oh. I, live, I live in Brooklyn now. I'm a Brooklyn yeah, I'm, I'm from... I'm from Brooklyn. I was born in Brooklyn, but I'm I'm in Staten Island. Ah, okay. Oh wait, you live in Staten Island. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You live. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, I was born and raised and migrated in 1978, 79. So. 
Can you tell us oh, about your, you okay. know, your your childhood or your life in Brooklyn while you're growing up? Yeah. Oh, that was I was too young when I left Brooklyn, so I don't know about that. But you know, Staten Island was a big playground for me. You know, growing up, it was no there was no internet, there was nothing. Everything was word of mouth. We got on the BMXs, we skateboarded around. We got into trouble. We got into fights. Uh, we we enjoyed. Oh you know, shit! <laughs> yeah, we we enjoyed growing up. You know, with two brothers and, and one sister at the time. Uh, I was a skateboarder at one point. You know, I loved to thrash. I loved to skateboard. I rode half pipes, quarter pipes, uh, street street skate. I was sponsored by this this uh, company called Seriously Cycles. They would give me you know skateboard decks. Okay. You know, and uh, I would go and perform for them. And jump ramps and stuff and you know i think from there on you know my brother we started growing out of the sport because we kept getting hurt you know my brother was a bmxer and i was a skateboarder so it was like whatever we, everywhere we went i would skateboard he would bike and you know we would always get hurt because we would do the extraordinary we would do some extreme stuff and he started playing basketball and then one day you know i was skateboarding in the park jumping ramps and he said, hey, man, since you can jump, bro, try this. And he gave me the ball. And the first thing I did was I shot it. And it felt natural. You know, I didn't train or nothing. And he was like, damn, you ever play basketball before? I said, nah. He's like, well, why you shoot like, you know, you got. I was like, I don't know. He's like, keep trying. And he kept giving me the ball. This was back when I was like 13, 14. And then after that. Oh, wow. Um, I shot up after like a year and a half, two years. I I was six three. I was five foot nine, and then I just shot up like to six six three, six two, and then I started dunking. And he was like, "Damn, bro, from just shooting a ball, you grew this tall, and then you started dunking way before him." And he was just like, "You got something." And so he he kept he kept on my ass. You know what I'm saying? He really he he really just was like, "You got to stop all this knucklehead shit." You know, all this hanging out with your friends and, you know, doing some, you know, crazy stuff when you're young. Everybody does that. This is this is facts. But um, he was like, you got something that God has given you. And he's like, you better chase it down. So he kept he kept on my ass, my brother, you know. And um, it's from there on from high school. I went to uh, Curtis High School. I went to IS 49 in Dreyfus. That's right near Stapleton, one of the roughest neighborhoods and we used to cut out of class just to go play basketball in the middle of the projects and that's what was with a great with great athletes before like back in the day those athletes they, they, to me they were like superstars because they were doing windmills reverse and i was like damn you can teach me that and they were teaching me that and i just started just learning as i was going along in life high school uh, junior high school is 49 it's all a mix. It's all a mix. It's a mixed group. It's all international. It's Chinese. You got, you got every all all types of races, and you would. Go, I was I was just chiming in with everything. I was learning a lot from everybody, but when it came to sports, it was it was the go time. I, I loved it. I loved playing with with all types of uh, races and stuff like that. It's the experience, and that got me into Curtis High School, and when I went to Curtis. I had a great, I, I had game winners. It's in the archives and everything. I had game winners, uh, hustled, and those things, they, you know, it made me feel like, wow, this is coming true. This is, you love something, you keep going. But all, all, all of a sudden, I lost interest. And hanging out, and when I started winning games, starting to be, a, you know, growing up, I started meeting other people. And other people started going to New York City, we saw a party and I was getting away with it because of my height. Number one, I was like 16 and I was walking into clubs because of my height. And they were like, oh, he's okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you, I don't was look, like, you don't look 16, I bet. Yeah, so I mean, wait, I was wait, getting what? places without being ID'd and next thing you know, wow. I'm partying over here, I'm going here. I'm, you know, it, it's, it became like, a, I think like you work hard, you play hard, you work hard. You know what I'm saying? You work hard, you play hard, you know? And But at that time, at that time when you were 16, yeah. did you, 
did you started like having those tattoo at the age of 16 nah, or no nah, oh you were like clean at that during I that was, time yeah as it's you clean say canvas. clean you say oh. it like clean like it's bad clean canvas <laughs> it's bad. When, when did you started having those tattoos um if i'm correct by the time i had my first my first child um i think it was 19 or 20 20 yeah it's about 20 years old i had my first tattoo it was over here it was Winnie the Pooh. Oh, so oh. Def <laughs> well, definitely a silver. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. We should have so that. <laughs> yeah, where's Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh, Pooh right now? It's it's covered by uh, a koi fish. I have I have a koi over oh here. So oh, and Jesse uh, and Alex, look, I'm looking at the live comments. I'm Louis, I'm seeing a Louis Cristiano. That's saying, my brother. Yeah. Oh, hi, brother. I bet oh, you're hot. Hi, Louis Cristiano. That's my brother. You know, he's, he he's, he's been it. my. He's and been then, my, my biggest my biggest supporter, and he's one that, that kept me level headed when I came home from the Philippines. He, he, you know, he was talking about you know God and and things that in life you have got to accept certain things. You can't, you know, force anything. He was keeping me level headed, and you know, because he brought me into this, you know, into mm -hmm. this uh, thing with with uh, basketball, and he was just saying, just count your blessings, Alex. You know, you're back, you, you're healthy, you, you know. You know, you got you still got a whole life ahead of you, you know, and just keep going. Just, you know, do the right thing and, and everything will fall right. And I said, you're right, Lou, you know. And so, how about uh, okay. uh, one, oh, just one more? Um, uh, Lu I think it's, it's him. It's Louis Cassano. And said he's been, he mentioned Curtis Dunk Contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. What was me, that? Me, <laughs> me and him went at it. He was, of course, he's two years old, two, three years older than me. And we went at it. He was like, um, I think sophomore, freshman, sophomore. He was um, a junior, and I was a, I was a freshman. And we were at a dunk contest. He was he's six foot one. I'm six foot three. You know. Is he is he also cute like you? Well, I would well. say so. He's my brother. Oh, of, course he's <laughs> <laughs> of course he's cute. He's my there's brother. No, there's no ugly in the family. No, no, no they, you know what. Wait. The only thing ugly is our feet. <laughs> uh, so wait, Alex, let me ask you something. A question. Um, why? Yeah. Where? I know you started with a Winnie the Pooh, right? Winnie the Pooh yeah, yeah. tattoo, yeah. and then after that, you started having all this tattoo all over your body. So, what made you realize that embracing and loving and being addictive, uh, addicted to tattoos? Um, I think it was the art expressing and mm -hmm. um showing that i like uh things that that actually the pain i i like the pain um when i was going through a lot of deep dark times I, I really i really went into you know tattoos to actually help me you know get away from all the reality of of pain and tattoos once i started getting one i got two i got then i started seeing it on tv and i was like oh that kind of looks kind of cool and i was like that looks a steep and they would take pictures of me, like going up for a rebound or going up for a dunk. And I kind of got addicted to that look as like saying like, wow, that's kind of cool looking. But at the same time, I, my art is is just freehand. I, I went to an artist and I was like, listen, I, I, this is the way I feel. Go to town. This is the way I feel. Do what you got to do. I never sat down and drew something with them. I never sat down and expressed myself to be like, I just said, this is how I feel at this moment. He was like, okay, I got you. What's your sign? Um, I'm a Pisces. Okay, we'll put a koi fish. Um, what do you like? What do you, I love swimming. They put, they put the ocean, you know. These things that they were coming up with, you know, was just because I'm always, I needed something, I needed something happy to see myself going through a lot of pain, you know, because it wasn't all hunky dory, trust me. It okay. wasn't. What's on your, uh, I know. Your like, what's a, what is that? He was telling, truly, yeah. It says truly blessed. I got that when That's I was new, right? really, I, I got that when I was really, have to say, I was going through a spiral, and I tried to get something that would would lighten my my, my load on my back, and truly blessed was something that I felt that I needed to uplift my my spiral of you know, uh, depression, and oh, wow. everybody goes through it. Everybody goes through it. You know, your career comes to an end. You don't know what you want to do. You don't know how to handle things. So I started getting more tattoos. And it became an addiction because the more pain I was getting, the more the more tattoos I got. And nobody ever sat down and, and, and talked to me about 
my 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 life. They only talked about so who's your girlfriend now. Oh, what you do? Exactly. You know, they never really wanted to know Crescendo, but they loved the controversy. They loved that I had a new girlfriend. They loved that I had a new situation at hand. They loved to go spread that like a virus. But they never okay. sat down and goes, Alex, how is your heart? How is your family? How is your, you know, they never sat down and, and dug deep into me. But when it came to controversy, oh, forget it. They was, They're all over. Yeah. Oh, wow. like you, you. So, okay. So what you're trying to say is like, okay, um, the way I perceive it, right? Like every single <laughs> tattoo that you have having all over your body has yeah. like a story yes. right has a story for sure but can, can you wait how many tattoos do you have Elaborate. can you count in average I, like i i, I don't know uh, i i know it's my my chest my my sides my whole back i'm not taking my shirt off mom oh <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom is there. I know. No, because, oh my god. Because, Hi, Tita. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, oh my god. I love. Oh Wait, I love your mom. I'm gonna wrap behind your mom. Hi, my mother, listen. Tita. My mother's over here with my father, and my and you oh, know my father's kind of you Tito. don't really talk, but my mother's over here making sure I don't say something that's out of line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, I did. I'm sure your parents are so proud of you. My, yes. You know what they. They are very proud. My mother was an artist. She was, she was, she draws. So when I started getting oh. tattoos, she was like, oh, you could be you because I'm an artist. And I said, yeah, but mom, I'm an athlete. I'm going through pain. She was like, well, then do what you want because that's your, that's your canvas. That's your life. Exactly. Yeah. That's your and, life. And it's my so true. Said, Just don't tattoo your face. <laughs> and I was like. Well, like, and then you started doing it. Yeah, there you go. It's too late. Oh, my. I mean, because that's, what, that's what I think about uh, tattoos. I'm like, it, it became like a. Uh, Something really cool over, it's, it's something over the years, right? I, yeah. It's I, art. I, I, the face. I'm like, don't touch the face. Don't yes, touch the yes. face. Gonna, and you started gonna, doing this, it. Yeah. I'm gonna remove this one because I'm I'm starting to do it. I'm gonna get it removed, but the other ones are gonna stay there. Uh, I am not ashamed of what I have put on my body. I'm not ashamed of what I went through. All I can say is that you know I'll never ever change because to to get a job or to be loved or to be liked. Yes. I was always this person since day one. And I only showed the love and the respect to people that showed me love and respect. And everything else, I, I can't please you. I'm sorry. But this is life, man. You know, you can't really de depend on people. You got to just keep going what you're doing, you know? Okay. Of all like the, the tattoo all over your body, yeah. what's your favorite? Um, that has like, like a deeper meaning to you. Well... <laughs> stupid my mother she's so stupid. <laughs> can we see tita so, can we see tita tita come on come on come on from the, she's she's on, wearing on. she's wearing um, no 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 I, I, come on tita I, 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 oh my god oh, hello so cute. there's my dad say hi dad hello hi, dad. Tita. Hi. hi dad oh my nice god, god. Nice god. Guys. oh my god, oh my god. We, god. We like so i said proud you know, of you. my family and the reason why we're all like this i mean even my brother yeah well let, let's get back to my brother in the dunk contest because i know he okay okay okay, okay. yes because your brother yes. because yeah he he i went because he was a he was a power dunker okay and i was the guy that liked to glide through the air and do all types of dunks louis was my brother louis was a power dunker and um huh he broke the rim he did like a dunk between the legs. He bounced the ball between his legs. Oh, and damn. He went up and he, and he broke the rim. So everybody was like, oh. And I said, nope. We still got another court down there to go dunk on. Because it's, you know, it's full court. <laughs> so I did a 360, like a little 360 windmill. And then it was over. It was over. Oh, my God. Wait, speaking of that, okay. I know you became so popular in the Philippines. You're, like, known as the Dennis Rodman of the Philippines, right? No, nah, I don't want to be known as Every, that. Wait, wait. I yeah, know, did, did you, but you, that's, you, you were like, known like for that? that. You didn't I, like the title? I, um, The title is Alex Crusano. Uh, I just got tattoos, and I started playing like that because I love to I love to play physical. I just – I was never a dirty player. I never hurt nobody. I never took, I never took a career from nobody. I played with my heart okay. and uh, I, well, put it like I played with my heart and my throat. I just played hard. I just, you know, when it was time to go to war and, you know, I went out there and I did my job and, and you know, and I never went out there to hurt nobody or take somebody out of their, you know, their career because they have lives and they have a family. They have people to feed and people to look up to. I just played with my heart. I never played God role. 
I never played Tarantado. Got, and, and, but, and, but, but, like, hindi ako buwisit. Hindi ako buwisit. Hindi, oh, I'm cute. Hindi ako buwisit. Hindi ako buwisit yan. But, 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 so but, 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 uh, you're sexy. The, you were known as a, the Danish Rodman of the Philippines. But why do you think you were tagged as? Uh, why do you have like a bad boy image? If you're like, I feel like you're a little giant. You're like a sweet, you were, sex, you were, yeah, you know? yeah. Relationships I've been in, you know. No, because oh. girls always chase you down. <laughs> you couldn't say no to everything. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! So, the, okay. the girls, the girls couldn't help themselves. I, no, you know what? One good yeah, thing about you know why? Oh, yeah. Because she, she, she caught me when I was sixteen years old. My, I, I, I lost my virginity at sixteen, <laughs> and, and, and and no, but but it was funny because I ha I lost my virginity to a a, a thirty year old woman. Oh, she was a bar. She was a bartender <laughs> for okay. For, Yes, who was a bartender for a strip club. And I used to always see her. Like, we used to always hang out. And I would always see her pulling off, you know, by the time we were going to school, she was coming out of work. And I would always say, hey, how you doing? She'd be like, I'm like, you getting off of work now? So I would always see her where I live in, in, in Staten Island on Sand Lane. There's a place called Scarlet's. Okay. And I would always see her and coming out of work at like four, like 5 o'clock in the morning. Five, my, meanwhile, we're going to school. I'm taking a bus. And I'd be like, hey, how you doing? What, what are you getting off of work now? And she'd be like, yeah. I was like, nice, nice. I said, maybe one time you could take me home with you, just joking around. It happened. <laughs> that <laughs> lucky bitch. Oh, oh my God. God. My, mother, and my, mother, <laughs> my mother chased me down. She, 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 well, she did. She went to my friend's house. She was like, Alex hasn't been home after school. Where is he? And she, they were like, um, and she was like, you better tell me. And then my father came in and I was like, you better tell me where my son is. They were like, he's over there in this house over here. Next thing you know, I got my mother <laughs> knocking on the door and I'm oh like. My God. You know, it's, oh my it's God. It's been like that ever since day one, you know. It's, the girls like are said, always waiting in the curse. Over yeah, it's a blessing and a curse, man. And I think what? I should have got that tattooed on me. Blessed exactly. Because, because how did you? Okay, go go ahead. Okay, because guys, go uh, ahead. I mean, if that or, or if that already was the trajectory of your life, starting at sixteen, but we couldn't help it. I mean, you're gorgeous, right? And then and you then you, gorgeous, and then yes. you went into professional sports, which is um be a girl magnet times a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'll tell you. I'll like, tell you a story about that. I'll tell you a story about that. Um, even my agent at the time. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you to um. You know, Joe Passero, because the, without them and playing in the Philippine League in Staten Island, Joe Passero and Joe Grosby, may you rest in peace. You know, I still I still thank you to this day. Um, CPOG for giving me a chance to play with them. And, you know, um, it's just the way it goes. Um, I played basketball. They got me out there. And I just wanted to say thank you to those people, because without them, I wouldn't have had this title. I wouldn't have anything... To and remember. to remember or even to have in life that I could say, wow, I lived a great life. I want to thank those people, you know, Joe Passera and um, um, Joe Grosby and you guys. Uh, even even Joe Grosby came to my house when I was in the Philippines my first year and I had a girlfriend. He he did a background check and he brought lawyers to my mother's house. He was like, we just did a background oh check on this girl to make sure that she's not going to. You know, blackmail your son. That's why, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm so... I'm not lying. I'm yeah. not lying. It's, it's something true I'm, I'm that so, he did. Wait, I'm so curious. Like, um, how did you got discovered? You know, like, you you, you have yeah. a good life in yeah. the U.S. Yeah. And then how did you, how did you start to, like, become... You, you moved to the, the Philippines and yeah. you became a famous player, PBA, play, uh, PBA player. So how did that start it? I played, um, first it was in Curtis, like I said, after Curtis, after I beat my brother in the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. um, oh, he's gonna, oh, I'm going to wait for his comment. I'm going to wait for his comment. Wait. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, okay. Right after that, um, I kind of I kind of lost, you know, the basketball field. I got into a couple of, um, you know, trouble on the street. And then next thing you know, my brother once again came to my rescue. And he was like, listen, you're either going to end up in jail or end up dead. 
you got to stop this this fun oh, stuff sure. and start focusing on basketball. So he found he found a, a a league, a Filipino league to play basketball in on Staten Island, which is called CPOG. And okay. CPOG is where it was I discovered that you know this could be something, you know, and you know going to the championship with my brother, and I got ejected because I threw a ball at somebody because somebody they did they, they did something dirty to me, and I turned around, I was like, come on, man. Play physical. If you can't meet, if you can't match my physical, don't play dirty. And he was mm -hmm. like, as they say, I didn't know the word, but at the time he said, Tang in a mole. And I said, What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> like, and I turned, I didn't know, I'm sorry, I can curse, right? No, yeah, no, no, of no. course. This is online. This is online. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. We can and curse. At the yeah. Time, it was one of the Albanos. And I said, Yo, what did he just say to me? And he was like, said, he said, your mother's off. I said, what? That mother? I grabbed the ball and I chucked it at him and I chased him down and they ejected me from the from the finals. We lost because me and my brother got ejected. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, because we were, because it was a physical, it's a physical game. I mean, it was, it was just, I just love the physical part of, you know, of basketball. It was, if you can't beat me strength wise, you're going to have to do dirty tactics to me. You're going to have to hit me in my balls. You're going to have to grab me. And do certain things to me that I would stop and, and get out of the game or fight or get thrown out. Um, but from there on, once I played with the CPOG and we didn't win the finals, we didn't go to the we, we didn't win a championship. A guy came up to me from the PBA, an ex an ex PBA player, and he came up to me and he was like, Yo, listen, are you Filipino, right? I says, Yeah. I said, My grand my grandfather is from Ilo Ilo. My mother, yeah, my grandfather's from Ilo Ilo. My grandmother's from Capiz. So, and my mother, you know, she's she's a Filipino. She's a mestiza, my mother. She's white. Yeah, my, mestiza, yes. Yeah, she's mestiza. So, I mean, they wanted all the proof. And I was like, what, what do you want? They were like, birth certificates. And I just did everything that they asked me to. The next thing you know, they were like, listen, yeah. um, you can go play in the, in the Philippines if you want. I says, Playing basketball? He said, yeah. I said, you serious? He said, yeah. So I took advantage. I was like, it's time to get out. It's time to leave. This was back in 1999. So did you play with, who's that? Anthony Palado? Uh, Poblador for, from Anthony uh, Poblador. Yes. From Anthony Stella. Poblador, former uh, shell. I came, well, I came in the Philippines in 1999. I played in the NBA, Metropolitan Basketball. Well, yes, yes. And then I was direct hired by by, by uh, Hanebra in 2000. So the only shell, the, listen, the only the only veterans that I know when I went into the league was Nelson Isotono. Oh wow! Uh, uh, Noli locks in the tank. Um, who else? Um, of course. Um, some some other uh, who was that Benel Balingit. He's a big boy. Oh, is he, is he bigger mm -hmm. than you? Oh, hell, he's like six foot nine. I'm only six six now. You know? <laughs> You're <He's>, only six. <laughs> I'm only six. He's six foot nine. Yeah, I had I had them. It was and, and Benji Paras. Um, I was coming. Alvin Patrimonio. Uh, there was so many of them. Dennis Espino. Uh, um, Julian Put. There was so many great plays at the time, but I guess they were like on their way or at, they're on their way out. But you could still see they had had game before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had game before. So when I played against them, I played my heart because I heard that they were like the best of the best. And I was like, when I played against them, I was like, yo, mm -mm, you ain't gonna back me down. No, uh, uh, you ain't gonna yeah. box me out. You ain't gonna. I'm gonna dunk on you all over. You know, that was my mindset. But in a in a friendly way, I would never say that. But my mindset was different. So when I went to the Philippines in 1999. It was like I told you, my, my agent Joe Grosby, may you rest in peace. He was just telling me, You're a magnet. And I was like, What do you mean a magnet? He was like, You're a chick magnet. Look at when you get off the airplane. Oh. I said, Man. <laughs> I was like, right from there, I was like, You're putting a kid that never was like molded to be understanding how to you know conquer life and, and treat his you know, be professional. Yeah, you, you you set me off to the Philippines where it's like a big playground too, and I was like, Ooh, Yo. why not, right? <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Wait, wait. So you mentioned earlier that uh, uh, you, you, 
Okay. How, wait, how, how, how many years did you play in basketball in PBA? 13. 13 years, right? 13. So, okay. For 13 years, um, I have two question, um, questions. Uh, first is, how was the experience? And second, why do you think, aside from being a chick magnet, why do you think you stand out among the rest? There's so many hot, you know, yeah. PBA players yes, at that time. I agree. I yes. agree with you on that. Why do you think you're all hot? <laughs> I, I no, why I agree. There's, like you stand there's out the some, most? there's some, there's some pogey guys in the PBA. There's some, <laughs> there's some macho guys in the PBA. Um, I think for me, I think I came at a time when it was all just giants. I came in when it was like Asi Talava, Eric Mink, uh, Mountain, um, Ali Peak, Sonny Alvarado, um, these big guys. These were these weren't small guys, you know. These were big, humongous yes, people. True, true, true. And I think you know the, the, the time that I came in was perfect because I'm six foot six, and they're six foot eight, six foot nine, and I would never back down. Like I would get hit. And I would take the blood and wipe it on my face and be like, it's game time. And I think I think just my personality, just my personality, my character. Yeah. I think that's what made me I be loved by Filipinos because they never thought I mean they call my yabang. And they were called sobrang sobrang OA, like overacting. Yes. I was yes. always straightforward. I was always straight. And they call plastic, you know. Like. And they call plastic. Oh my god. He's so he's so sexy when he speaks the guy. I, right? I, I think you're also uh, meeting you right now. You're Kalog. You know what Kalog is? Kalog, I, I, no. Uh, you're fresh. You're, funny. you're a comedian. You're yes. funny. Yes. You have like a sense of Jimmy humor. Santos, like a Jimmy Santos. And, oh, and, 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 and you have the crazy oh side, of course. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Like, you oh know, Benji Paras. Benji Paras is the comedian. Um, I enjoyed... I enjoyed... Just, I think being me, they 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 like me being me, and it was never luck. I, I look at my career and I say, damn. I look back and say, holy shit. I played professional basketball, and I didn't even go to college. I finished high school, but I never went to college. That's a blessing, man. And it is. I tell it my is. son. I tell my son that. I tell my son. I'm like, let's don't get any tattoos. Just play the game. You know, play the game as in like, be clean. If you want to get a tattoo, it's up to you. But just get one. Leave the rest to your father. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're still crazy, man. Leave the rest. If you want to get a tattoo, tell me what you want. I'll put it on my body for you. I, mean, I walk around and I'm a proud father of Alex Jr. I'm a proud father oh, wow. of Aaliyah Marie. Those are my kids. Um, I I think because I was just so outgoing. I, I danced to my own tune. I danced to my own music. Uh, people like that. I guess different. I was different, as you can see. I'm still different. You but, um, are. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm different in in a good way, but not in a. I don't think anything malicious. Anything. I'm not. I'm not the type of guy. My brain does not work like that. Uh, I I can't. I I never hurt anybody. I mean, in the Philippines, I never, never hit. I never hit nobody. Never punched nobody in the face. I never got to an argument. That way, physical, like you know, mano y mano. But I never hurt nobody. I think if anything, it's probably relationship wise. I think I hurt some women that I didn't want to get I didn't want to be with. But I think that's just normal. I think that's just normal. You know, I'm not trying to brag, but you know, there's things in my life that I couldn't deal with and I couldn't be with. You know, career was coming to an end. Every time my contract would end up, I would end up arguing with this girl and I'd be like, you know what, this is not even going in the right direction. Let me okay. <laughs> let me let me hop out of here. Like you know, I would tell them that because when my contract was coming up, there was a lot of awai, like you know, arte, ganyang. I was like, Yo, listen, I know where this is going. Let's not go any further. Let's just separate. You want a comfortable life? I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm a, I'm a happy guy. I enjoy life. Whatever comes my way, so be it. I don't gotta be my yaman. I don't gotta be famous. I was happy with what I was doing. And, you know, but I, little did I know I was being looked up to. And people were like saying, why are you getting more tattoos? Why'd you do this? And I just say, this is who I am, you know? And yeah. I thank, and I thank the Kwankos. I think, I think 
the Kowankos of San Miguel that gave me a chance. I thank so many fans and so many people that looked up to me at the time and still do because they did. They, they know I, I have that never say die attitude. Um, they know that I, I will never quit of what I love because everybody goes through a bad time. Everybody goes through a depression. Everybody goes through something. I didn't have family with me. I'm in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of a lot of crazy things you can do in the Philippines. A lot. And when I yes. say that, it's it's <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just you can't yeah. you can't do it every day. You can't do it. It's gonna make you it's gonna make you go crazy. And I respect okay. it. Okay. You know, I respect it. I, I mean, you were right. Just unfortunately, that every time you do have these fights with. Uh, with the women. Arguments. These, arguments. These, arguments. These, these, are, be... these are the ones that are magnified in the news. Because honestly, I, I don't even know all of them, but definitely if I hear your name, it's tied into something scandal just, or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to be blunt with you, right? But before I, um, I ask that yes, question. Um, it, it, it is a sex I want, scandal, yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna say hi. <laughs> you have to say, say, wait a minute. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. It, I want to say hi. Before I ask the, the blunt question, we just okay. want to say hi because a lot of people on the live comments are saying, Lali Amante is asking, like, Al Cristiano, um, Tulu Laway. It means like she's drooling, okay? If we want to say, uh, oh, yes, later, okay. So, Lester, Lester, um, Lester, Sean oh my gosh. Uh, is, is, is the bad boy of court and my idol, Hinebra. Yeah. Um, uh, I was at AC Doman Domantai. Yes. Remember? You know, remember hosting the WWE show on TV yes. with yes. UDH? Yes. So wait, okay, before we, we oh, there's so many here, uh, Angelo Alvarez, Monsi Corpus, Boyet, SF, there's so many. So what is that thing that you you hosted? You yeah. did a hosting a rest, a gig? Rest, uh, rest, uh, wait, before I ask my blonde question, so <laughs> tell us what happened. Oh, <laughs> tell I yourself. About, yeah, I was, about to, I was about to ask you, like, did okay, you ever answer this? Because a lot of you, you're you're a cutie, you're you're a hunk. Everybody, all the girls are like drooling all over you. Uh, did you ever thought about you know like the showbiz? I'm sure you had a lot of offers. And then there you go. Somebody AC Domantai said you hosted WWE show on TV. So yes. tell us what, what was that? Um, it was WWE Philippines. Um, okay. I, I, it was me and Richard Delasario. Okay. Because um, I loved I loved wrestling because it was entertainment. I loved entertainment. I love the fact that, you know, it was an act, but it was an act with pain. You know, it was an act because people love to see people getting slammed. Uh, I love the fact that they got me to do that with them. And I, I was I was just absorbing everything. It was, I guess, the best feeling, like I said, besides basketball and the fans, acting on TV and and being, uh, I guess, a host with Richard Del Sauer. He was teaching me some pointers of what he knows about, the, you know, the, the, the hosting and I did what I had to do, and it was great. I loved it. It was on Channel 5, and we, we went for a year. We went oh, for wow. a year. What's, what's that? What are you talking about? Mommy has something to say. Yeah, well, I don't know. What? what? No, nah, she's, just, she's just making sure I'm not saying nothing to her. Uh, <laughs> you know, like I said, man, she's like, she's like my agent right now. because you know, I know. She, oh, Tita, she's, she's the just, agent right now. Your, your mama, girl. Yeah, she and she's just the she, mama listen, she's just yes. Uh, I'm I'm a she's my sidekick. I'm her sidekick, you know. Aww. But um, yeah, it was it was a great time. I would love to if I ever was offered to do something in the Philippines again. I would never turn it down. I would never ever walk away from a country that I love that made me gave me a chance to be somebody who I was, um, and to go back and show people that you know life is not just about sports. It's about sharing the experience. Yes. Uh, even my kids to go back and see my kids and you know help them with their life and get them going. So, I, 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 I just love the you know the experience of of another country that I call home. That really I am a Filipino and I do carry a passport of a Filipino. Still, so. you did a couple of films though, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I did Ankataja. I did Zaido. Uh, I did um, a lot of guest things. Uh -huh. um, I did TV Five. I did Shall We Dance. I was a champion dancer. Oh, um, you're wow. a dancer as well. Yeah, I did, I did the scene. I would say, yeah, I did all that. I did all that stuff. <laughs> you but, know, okay. and... Before my blunt question again, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> what, why did you come back to the, the U.S.? I mean, it seems like you had a, a beautiful career. 
I mean, in the um, Philippines, and then after 13 years, why go back to the U.S.? Well, I, I guess because I had to reformat and actually redo my life because, you know, that fame and that fortune can actually be a poison. It can actually, okay. you know, self-destruct you because I was actually um, just caught up in some in some stuff that, it wasn't basketball no more. It was it was a relationship, and I had to get out of it. And it was doing nothing but a it was a spiral. And I had to leave and you know start all over and refresh everything about you know the reason why I'm still alive and the reason why I made it this far. Uh, my father needed help. My father was kind of sick. My mother needed help with him, with with him. So it was a call, a calling of uh, I guess at the right time, right place as they say, but uh, I had to leave there because there was something that was done and I just, I don't even want to, you know, like, you know, get into that, but I left that. I did, that's the past, you know, and to tell you the truth, I, I would never, I would never um, say names. I would never uh, drop dimes. I'm not a rat. Um, I know that I'm living a, a better life now and I, I can sleep at night. I can sleep at night really good. Okay. I, I know th I know they can. Um, there was some wrong news that was put out, and I just want to uh, say that it's all just it's all just it's all just nonsense. And I hope that person understands that you you really paid the wrong people to to lie about me. You know. Actually, okay. Now <laughs> I don't want to ask that blood question, but yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can I not? Can I say it or no? Or uh, go I'm ahead, sure. go for it. Uh, I'll go for it. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you're here. Okay. Yeah. Like I mean, now that I'm talking to, you, we're talking to you, and a lot of people are listening and very curious about it because, I mean, I'm, I'm observing you well, you know, for an hour. Even before that, we we started chit chatting, right? And I noticed that you're a, a really a lovable, you know. I look, I don't know, giant. They didn't know that side. They never yes, wanted exactly. to know that side. Impossible. That's right. Now, yeah. guys, you yeah. know. Now you guys oh know. God. Now you guys know. And that's the reason why uh, the, the reason why we have this this podcast and this um, FB uh, Facebook uh, live show. It's because mm -hmm. we want to know more about, you know, the, the celebrity that they look up to. It's just an, it's just a lot an of image. People, it was yeah, an exactly. Image, and then, it was an image exactly. they could sell. It was an image exactly. they could sell, and I had to live up to it. You know, if I want to keep my job and I want to keep things, you have to live up to an image. But it really wasn't exactly. me. It exactly. really wasn't me. It, you know, the bad boy image, I think, with the tattoos, that's why. And exactly. that came with the job and the territory. Everything else is just all chikahan. It's all cheesemis. It's all cheesemis. Okay. So. Can I ask you this this blunt question? I'm sorry. I, I just uh, you said that it's okay, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, um, you mentioned earlier that it was just like uh, that person just paid like probably she paid like all this this wrong people, you know, to write those bad article about you. So yeah. that ex girlfriend, I just want to ask this bluntly. I'm sorry. Do you want me to ask it or no? Go ahead. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Yeah. Like, I, like I, I said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say as much as I can because okay, okay. I don't want right. to give anybody kudos. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to give anybody exactly. kudos and think I'm... that I'm still thinking about them because I'm not. Exactly. I'm That's what I love about because, you. Because you know what? I'm not trying to bring them back in my life. I want them to stay where they are. God bless you. Um, more power to you. But let's just say, for instance. They just, they really got money off of my name doing all these things. And oh my God. I was yeah. the bad guy, as they say, bad guy, you know. But okay, let me ask you. Um, yeah. You were tagged as with Etta Buba, right? Like you okay. were, everybody, you became like your name was tagged like as a bad, you know, like a battered boyfriend and everything with Etta Buba. I, right? saw, I saw you with her in Baraka. Exactly. In Baraka, yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, I have a, a question, right? Like, um, don't be afraid. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God! What is this question? <laughs> Go ahead. Say I'm it. like the the number one. Like even if probably if we'll chill. I know. Like after this pandemic, we will invite you for a barbecue and okay. we'll chill. Whatever. I'm always. I ask questions like blood questions. Laban, Laban, Laban. Grab it on, right? Laban. So wait, with Ethel Buba, right? Um, okay. it, it, I feel like it's so unfair that knowing that you're you know, we're talking 
king right now, like uh, in in front of you. Um, and I, it's it, I feel like you're a very sincere person, right? Yes. But you were tagged as, you know, like you're a you're a person that abusive. You, a you bad know, she's boyfriend, a, basically, like a that. bad boyfriend, okay. and she was a battered girlfriend, and and um, you use her and everything. So wait, how did that happen? And um, how long did you date dated her? I mean. Okay, I, I um, was even surprised. Next okay, question like we, this: uh, is, I'm gonna, be, I'm just gonna be honest. Why is the tour thing so on ABS CBN? Ex there you go. <laughs> okay, uh, okay go. Listen, go I'm ahead. all for, I'm all for honesty. But at the end of this, at the end of this, this storm, let's all be honest, man. Like yes, they, they had exactly. ratings. It, it was all about ratings. Mm -hmm. And if Ethel made up a story, so, and I was like, why are you doing that? What? You're lying, and I'm like, and like, I'm, I'm not trying to make her, I'm not trying to bring her back around and make her look bad, but you, you added things to it, and it's not even true. That's why they stopped interviewing me live. They stopped interviewing me live because oh, they started to say things uh -huh. that they didn't want to be exposed, and they couldn't edit it. So you know, when you can't edit a live, people are gonna say this guy's not that bad, but when you go in there and you do a, you sit down and they do a taping, whoop. They catch you, and then they edit it, and then they put it out like, I didn't care because I knew the truth. If you're going to be with me for almost five years, how bad and abusive could I be? Or how bad of abusive could I be in the bed? Oh. That's different. <laughs> oh, well, that, was, that's, that was a positive. That's a positive. <laughs> because Oh, my God, you know, yeah. <laughs> my mother's over here laughing at me because... <laughs> She Hi, Tita. Me. I'm not being vulgar. I'm not being disrespectful. But it is what it is. And you going on TV saying things, and then you coming back to me. I mean, I never even hit her when in Barakai. She beat the living shit out of me. She fucking scratched my face, my chest, took a bottle, stuck it to my neck, and I was like, go ahead. If you got the balls, do it. And she didn't do it. She put it to her neck. And I was like, that's your life, not mine. She did things. And I walked away. And I was like, she was beating me up. I didn't put a hand on it. I didn't even raise it, even though I was gushing with blood. This was the Valentine. I think it was a something massacre that ever happened in Barakai. It, it's, it brings me back because I never I never hit her. She was, she was punching me in my face, smacking me. And I was just like, are you done? Come on, you can't hurt me. I mean, what's wrong with you? She kept going at me, and I didn't even hit her. I mean, come on. If if I would hit her, I don't think she would be talking on TV, number one. It's not she because I'm bragging. Hospital. She'd be in ICU with a wired jaw. I'm not I'm not bragging that I'm a tough guy. I'm just saying I never hit her, ever. That's all my, that's all my life, all my kids. And she's, and, you know, I, I just... I just always wish the best for her. I always said so, you know, no matter what happens, I wish you nothing yes. but the best. You're a good girl, but when you drink. Forget it. Yeah. It, yeah. But you know what? It's, it's but, emotional. You know, you know what? I feel, I feel like I feel, this. I'm happy for her. I'm really, I do wish her nothing but the best. Everything in life. I don't speak to her, but you know, she, she was one time that I did. I was in love with her and I, I, I couldn't be with it no more because it was just toxic. You know what I'm saying? It was getting too toxic. It was, you know, and I had to walk away from it. I had to walk away. You know. But you know what? Okay. This is the thing. You know what? Oh, your mom is saying cheers, all right? Yeah. So we'd be like, ooh, okay, wooza, wooza. Okay, let me let me drink first. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. <laughs> let's let's cheers for that. <laughs> Hold, Hold on. on. But you know what? God. She was fatal. But you know what? Okay. Oh, there you go. But you know what? Okay. Yeah. I yeah. really I mean, at least you know what I feel like right now. Like Ethel Buba is so happy when wh yes. where she's at right now, yeah. and you are happy, happy about it. For her. And you're happy. You yeah, know I, what? I, you know I, what? I, 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 feel I like, admire her comedy. Yeah, I love her comedy. Yeah, exactly. Oh. But you know what? Whatever it is that happened between the two of you during that time, it was really like she says, he says, right? But yeah. now yeah. it's like we just have to be, you know, like positive yeah. and yeah. your I life right now. I hope the, I hope the right years now. will really yeah. heal everything, you exactly. know. It was, exactly. I, I guess, and, I guess, and because, guess what? You've learned so much, right? From yes, each other. I, I, I am, I am not making her look bad and I know what she tried to do to me, but I still say, 
you know, I yeah. forgive her. I forgive her. Mm -hmm. Of course I forgive her. Uh, I hope she forgives me. And I hope, she, and I know yeah. she did because I, she's, she's living her life and she's doing great. And that's all I can do is wish her nothing but the best. Cause I never wish the bad. I always said, so I hope yeah. you find someone that, that fits in your, your, and she finally did. And I, I do nothing but, you know, praise that, you know, she sticks to that. And, you know, I heard she had a baby, somebody, you know, some cheese miss Filipino then. He was like, but hey, <laughs> he a baby. And I says, that's, I'm happy for her. Uh, okay. Maybe she needs that. Maybe she needs that to. Oh my God. That, you know, it's, it's just a part of my career that, you know, I, I never wished her bad. Uh, all I can say was um, we were young, you know, we were young. We were young. Oh, so, okay, okay. so now that we're talking about love life, yeah. What about now? Yeah. Do you have Do you have a love life? Do you have like Do you have like some anybody that you know like? That's why. That that's why you don't see it on Facebook. That's why you don't hear nothing. <laughs> I'm, 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 Wait, happy. You, I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you have any any like significant other or anybody that makes you feel like you know like butterfly in your stomach right now or you're single? Because yeah, everybody's at, wants to, to, to know. To tell you the truth, you know, it's my mother. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I ain't gonna lie because you know, she, she knows Come me from on. She knows break, me from break the heart of the days already. Break the I, heart <laughs> of the days. Come on, boy. Um, wait, 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 I, also, it's your mom. You, you said, it, it, okay. In short, you're I, single, I, right? I do, but I'm not gonna say her name or nothing. Well, don't but, say her name. You know, yeah, that's, that's personal. That's like, well, don't say but that's my so mother, cute. but my mother, you know, she knows me and she knows my heart. Sometimes I am a little bit outgoing she understands that but she knows i mean well she knows okay. that i do it out of okay. out of yeah she knows i mean well i don't look to hurt nobody i don't look to take nothing from them i just i am a fun guy and i, I like excitement i like spice as you can see i've been with her uh my past my past ex-girlfriend i mean with ethel but it was spicy it was is excitement it was it was mm -hmm. i anyway listen i loved her voice her voice is what really it caught my attention and mm -hmm. from there on i was like but i'm so happy that she had a she had a kid i don't know if it's true or not but i'm happy that she has a family i'm happy that you know she moved on and she's doing great yes. for herself in the future i never wish bad upon nobody mm -hmm. uh, i i just never wish That's bad so upon anybody. I, I just don't know why i hear people <laughs> saying certain things like she's, she's trying to kill you i'm like what do you mean why is she trying to kill me what am i doing uh, you know, I it's know. Like, it's the things you hear, like it, the aftermath. You know, it's 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 hard, and people love cheesemas. You know, people love cheesemas. Exactly. You know? Like everybody wants to like create, you know, intrigues yes. just because and, 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 you know something kids. to talk about. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Exactly. Bigger, right? yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What truth. about now? Yeah. So what about now? Um. Let's change topic a little bit because everybody was like, oh, my God, they're so they want to know more. But guys, later, I mean, uh, Alex already spoke about that right now. There's, I say, you know, I say somebody. MJ. The kid said LeBron, LeBron James. Yeah, or Michael yeah Jordan, LeBron or MJ. Oh, MJ. MJ. <laughs> MJ all day. But wait, OK, I'm sure a lot of girls wants to know before I ask the second question is what? What is your ideal girlfriend? I thought they're going to ask him what's the size. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, um, shoe size first. What's your shoe size? My, my whole life, I've been always with younger girls, like at least eight years younger than me. Um, okay. I think my ideal girlfriend is more mature. I, I like I like a, mm -hmm. a stern woman. I like to be yes. told like like you know like my mother like like someone that's like my stop doing that and go and I'd be like I'm sorry and you know. Because <laughs> I, I, I yeah because you I'm, mentioned I'm earlier yeah, and, you mentioned earlier Pisces. I think exactly. with the young, yeah, with the with the when I had the young girls, it was just they they were still being you know they're growing up, and it, it's it was too much fun. My liver can only take so much alcohol. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think now a mature a mature woman, you know, kind of keeps me in place. Yes. Like when I'm sitting with a bunch of Filipinos like this, where I actually made my mm -hmm. name, I enjoy the company. I you know we drink we conversate but when i go back to that yes. yeah when i go back to her it's like we just hey so uh, are we gonna go shopping are we gonna go pick up groceries uh you want me to take out the garbage <laughs> you know you know it's it's like that it's 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 normal it's but exactly check as she goes now you're acting too much you're being a, you're being too funny and i'm just like i'm sorry 
Yeah, because you mentioned earlier your Pisces. Pisces, yeah. I, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, I love Pisces people because they're very yeah. like, you know, like they just go with the flow. Go with the right? flow. Right. So yeah. Yes, go with the flow, and I feel like you're the type of person. What I feel like what you need a person who what you need is a person who's very, you know, can 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 get along with you, and just be like, you know what. It doesn't right. matter what you like. I'll just get a lot. You know, That's like right. if you want to go wine yes. drinking, you know, let's go partying. Let's go yes. once in a while and just partying go ahead, right? Like go with the... Um, <laughs> no, 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 home. not partying. No, no, no. Partying. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, well, I'll be honest with you. You know, ganyan, ganyan. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I'm partying for us, I mean, our age is like we're not part age. club. We're all the same age here. We're the same age. Like, well, yeah, are 40s, you? right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. Wow, yes. You're, be yeah, you're, you're, you're beautiful for your age. Oh, oh, you're talking to me, right? Because guapping, guapping. Oh, guapping. Guapping, macho, macho. I know. Early 40s, like the 40, 41 age, right? So what I'm saying is, you know what? Right now, I think like even myself and Jake, I was like, we've d I'm I'm done with the. We did the partying too. They give yeah, me the party. It's played our out. Party, played I'll out. be honest with you. Our party right now, like like Alex and I, we spoke earlier. Our party right now is the the backyard. You what? know. We have yeah, our. I'm missing right now. I could be there. <laughs> we have yes, our wine. We have our chit chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? That's fun. You know, get to know people. You, you know, you, you yes. change. This is perfect. You mature. You know, that's it. We listen, mature. I, that's listen, it. Listen, I, I picked up some habits from the Philippines, and that's one thing I picked up. You, you eat street food. You get drunk. You eat street <laughs> food. And that's you it. Go, you go to places like in Mandaluyong to get some so sopas like gulolo <laughs> after your lasing or wasak talaga. Oh, oh my yes, god! Yes, yes. I, I'm I listen. I did funny. it all. I cannot I believe you're never, saying, "Oh god!" I was never this guy that was like, "I gotta go over here just to try this food." I was like, "I want, I want show mine. I want, sh I want shawarma. I want, you know, street. I want to try the balut." And I would, oh you know, see you. And I would eat these things, and people would look at me and be like. Wait a minute, you're Alice Grisano. Why are you eating this? I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I'm Alice Grisano. So Come what? Yeah. This is food. Yeah, <laughs> this is food. Yes, yes, you know? yes, yes. And yes. I guess being American and being not a full blooded Filipino, they would think that I would be like a saucy type of guy. And I was never that. Never. Yeah, never. I ate. Oh, Tita. Hi, Tita. Can, tita. Can, can your mom speak Tagalog? <laughs> no, tita, she, do you speak she, she, Tagalog? She no. no. Oh. Can you speak Tagalog, Ma? No. Hindi naman. Oh my God. Hindi naman. She just says Mabuhay. <laughs> mabuhay. Hi, 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 Mabuhay. Hi, Mabuhay. Oh, Mabuhay. But Alex, yeah. question. When are you coming back here, like in, in, in Staten Island? Because we want to invite you for like dinner or <laughs> anything, barbecue. barbecue. Well, after this is over. Or, oh, after well, this is up. over. I want to read this. It says Lance Gulat. Who is that? Godaddy? Godaddy? It says, yes, 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 yes. Field or you? Who is a better forward? I was never a forward. I was a center. Number one is oh, I was a center. God. And what can you say about the PBA game now uh, in the PH? PH? Compared to the time, make Ildefonso. Uh, let me tell you something. Hands down. I'm not saying this because I was a part of it. But the era of when I played, it was big guys. There was nobody big. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was above six foot, six foot five. And they were physical. Now it's, oh, you know, now it's, I, I, don't, I don't know how to say the game. I haven't watched the games now. But back in the day when I played with Noli Loxin, Nelson Isitano, Dennis Espino, Juno Limput, this was a physical era. This was like no blood, no foul, almost like after Jaworski era. Oh, shit. So, you know, now it's kind of like my art day. Oh, oh, a foul, charging. I'm like... <laughs> What is this? They'll do you. They'll do you. They'll do you. You just, yeah, you, yeah. You just you touched my fucking beautiful yeah. face. Oh my god! I just got my epen done by by Bello. Oh my gosh! Oh my! <laughs> you know, oh my god! Wait, I'm gonna do a selfie later after this game. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, see, oh, see. Malakas yung laro ako, ha? Oh, oh. <laughs> you are fucking funny, dude. I swear. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, I, let I me ask you something. What about yeah. Kai Soto? What can you say oh, about I him? Played, his, his, his father was on the Never team. 
um back in the day when we when we uh when we won a championship oh, his father. 2005, okay. yeah, his father. Uh, Irwin, Irwin Soto, I think, right? Irwin, is it Irwin? Irwin Soto. Irwin Soto, yes, I'm sorry. I'm yes. sorry, it's, it's a long time, you know, I got some burnt, <laughs> you know, my it's brain okay. sounds burnt a little bit. You it's know? the same shit, like Irwin, yeah. Irwin, it sounded the same. Okay. Yeah, he, his okay, father go. was kind of tall, but when I look at Kyle, I'm like, holy shit, I don't, I don't know where, he just shot up like a, like a tree. And he's <laughs> blessed right now. He's blessed. All, he's yes, he's yes, doing it right. Yes, yes. He's doing it right. He's, he's going to make the Philippines very proud. And I know that for a fact. He's in the right position with the right people. And he's going to do something great. And I know that for a fact he's going to do something awesome. Because of the fact that uh, he's in the States and he's being trained. He's being trained by the best. Yeah, and I heard they're, he's going to be the next one. Yeah. but Yes. Actually. I, I believe in it. I believe in it. So. Yeah. Um, Kai Soto, actually, the agent already um, responded to us. So we're waiting for the date. Yeah. Hi, Kai Soto. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, how yes. you doing? Good luck yeah. and make the Philippines proud, you know. The, the, do not get any tattoos because, you know, Batol says <laughs> if you're a tattoo, you're a criminal. I don't believe in that. Yeah. I don't but, know. Listen, like, I'm not trying to be political right now, but somebody posted something and they says, I don't know if it's true, but it, did you read this? It says something about if you have a if you have a tattoo, you're a criminal. That's what Bato said. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Why are you discriminating tattoos, brother? Like, I, I, I no one it's discriminates true. guys of barong stealing money. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, I'm just <laughs> oh saying. God, like, I, I, I'm not. I'm not into politics. I'm just saying. Yeah. Never judge people because it, it, it's very disrespectful. Because if he's in it. In the states, if you just call anybody anything that's not, you, you're getting sued or put in jail. Mm -hmm. And I think that you know, um, be a little bit more considerate because you know I do have kids and I do have people that look up to me. You can't say things like that, and you know mm -hmm. when you say things like that, it affects my children. You know what I'm saying? It's like I feel like if they're gonna see something like that being said about every person that has a tattoo is a criminal. I mean, dude, I, know, I, I don't talk about nobody's. I mean. About, it it's, it's an hard. opinion. It, it, it's, 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 an opinion. opinion. it's just an it opinion. It's just an it's opinion. Don't worry. It don't you need know? to be said. Nobody exactly. talks about exactly. nothing else, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm affected it's, because that's part of my career. I love tattoos. Exactly. And it's, they can say whatever they want. But I, when I yeah. read that, I kind of I commented on the thing. I was like, you should be, you're in higher power. You should be showing love. Not, yeah, discriminate or, or judge, right? Yeah, show some love. I mean, you already there's already a lot of things going on in this world. We don't need more, you know, negativity in the world. We need love, man. You need to show appreciation, man, because the more you show negativity, the more you show. I'm not trying to come at nobody. I'm not, but though I'm not trying to argue with you or nothing. I'm just saying my tattoos have nothing to do with being a criminal or being anything else. Yeah, it's a part of expression, it's right? It's a part of being artistic. You know? And exactly. I want to thank Phenom. You know, Hi, Fino. Me too. There yeah, you go. Thank you, Mom, for, I'm waiting you know, for my this jersey. Oh, I know. I know. Wait, I do have a, a question. I do have a question. Another one. Go ahead. Earlier, go. there was a lot. I know a lot of people are like. I, I had two questions. Promise. Last one. <laughs> okay. A lot of people earlier like um, mentioned on the live comments like, like, what about NBA game? How come you never tried NBA? Because you think, are um, the best. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, you can play. You, you I, yeah, can really, I, really play. Time, like the NBA um, players. I guess. I guess I was already comfortable with the Philippines. I, I did. I did. My brother did try to get a tryout with the LA Clippers. My my brother did try to talk to somebody because you know I was so talented. I didn't know how talented I was. I loved the sport so much. My brother tried to do so much for me, but I was just like I was too comfortable in the Philippines because that's my that's my blood. That's my heritage. My for my roots. You know, and um. I just was too comfortable. I love the Philippines. Uh, you know, it was it was a great. Ex like I told you, it it'll never. I'll, if anything, I would change. Nothing. I would change my mindset, but everything else, the experiences, my kids, the things that I went through. I thank. I I, I appreciate. I embrace that, and and they know that, you know, it, God gives His strongest battles to His strongest warriors. And, I, and I'll keep going. Uh, I mean, I know people heard about the reason why I left, but am I going to cry about that? That's not on me. That's not on me. That's not my problem anymore. My problem is my father. 
My problem is my mother. You know, what's more important is focus on the right things and great things will happen. And I did that before. Exactly. And I'll focus Amen. on my mother. That's right. So I am very, yeah. I have my personal relationship with God. I, I don't go to church that much. I don't, I don't discriminate and say things, but I do pray and I do say to God, thank you for keeping me alive this long. I know I did some crazy dumb shit. I know I did some fucking outrageously landish, <laughs> some crazy stuff that I don't deserve. But you gave mm. you, you know, you still gave me my health. You still giving me a path. You gave me a chance to be with my father. You gave me a chance to be with my mother. A lot of people don't have those chances in life, and uh, I'm embracing that. And and I'm learning from it. You know, who knows? Maybe somewhere down the road, I I'm gonna have another family. It's just not right now. I I'm still I'm still learning because all that fame and fortune went to my head. You know, it it kind of it kind of disrupted me. And nobody understood that because the only one to hear is the negativity of Alex Rosano. <laughs> nobody wanted to hear, but why is he like that? Why don't you try to talk to him? Be one-on-one. -on -one. Because that wouldn't sell. They want to hear the negative. So when I want to tell the truth, they were like, oh, we don't, we, we don't want to hear it. And I'm just like, wow, that's nice. You could what? talk all this bad stuff about me, sell me out. Make me promote me to be like the baddest, heartless person because of my tattoos and the way I carry myself. Exactly, exactly. But you never got to sit yeah. down over a glass of wine or two. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> I love and, the punchline. Wait, but it's the truth. It's the truth. They say the truth serum is alcohol, which has always been the truth. And when I talk it's like true. this, it's from my heart. It's, I, I never wish bad. We can feel it. We can feel it. Yes. 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 I always, like, if, you'll meet me in person, you're going to be like, this guy, I got to give this big teddy bear, this big tattoo. Oh, a hug. Yeah, so that's why you're coming here, you're coming back in Staten Island, and we will hang out with you all the time. Yeah. And now right? we love to do that. I love to, I love to have oh fun, enjoy, and share stories, you know, that's, exactly. that's life. Okay, so you mentioned earlier so many times about your kids. So where, how are your, how are your kids? How old are they? And where are they now? Well, my, yeah, well, my son, I got a, I got a couple. I got a couple, you know, being an athlete, you know, <laughs> you know, it comes with, a, it comes with a farm, a little farm. You plant a lot of seeds. You have a lot of kids. You have a lot of relationships. I, I, I don't want to say, but I'm going to say baby daddy. Mm. That's the term now, right? Okay. Yes. The baby daddy. Okay, I was go. married <laughs> one. I was married in the beginning and was too young. I was too, I was too eager to, you know, didn't work out. Um, and then after that, I had another one. Uh, my first, my first two was Aaliyah and Alex. They're in the Philippines. My third one uh, is this kid. Uh, well, my my son Vinny, and my fourth one. We still got to get the test. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think, uh, because. Like I gotta say, man, I, I really, oh I really want to set the record straight. Um, I may not have been the greatest husband or the greatest person to follow or look up to, but I was a great father, and my mother knows that. My kids, they all remember that them good times. It's just, you know, when you're caught up in so much, you know, um, I guess you lose focus and you lose everything that has to go with family and success. I was kind of being selfish. I was kind of, I, I agree. I agree. You know, all that fame and, and, and attention, it really, it really fucked me up. Um, when I felt like it didn't work out, I would go out and drink and then I would meet somebody at the bar. And, you know, one thing led to another, change the numbers and text, text, text. Next thing you know, meet me at this hotel. And I was just like, I don't know if I should do this. But when you're always fighting at home, and you're always being blamed for being che cheating on. You're cheating on me. No, I'm not. Now I'm going to cheat on you because you're blaming me. You know, let's just now, let's just end it. But it's just due to experience, man. I was so unexperienced, uneducated on how to carry myself in this situation that I hope people don't take me wrong when I talk like this. I hope people don't misunderstand me when I tell the truth because there's nothing to lie about. There's nothing to, you know... Um, say something to make myself to make myself look like I never did nothing wrong. Of course, I got tattoos. Of course, I did a lot of things wrong. I'm, I took the pain. I took the pain. These are the pains. You know, this is what I took. So, yeah, I guess that's, oh that's what I have to say. Is I'm just being honest. Listen, honestly, I'll be honest. Policy. I'll be honest with you, Jacobs and I. We feel 
pure sincerity. Yeah, yeah thank, I swear. thank you. As thank in, you. like, it, it, a lot of people are like, uh, oh my God, like, uh, even my friends are right now, like, wow, this guy is really I'm honest. Fucked up. I ain't gonna lie. Let me tell you something. I really hey, did. Oh, we are. I, I know. We all are. That's what me I want to get off my chest. Okay. That, that's that's why we're having a glass or two. Exactly, oh, dude. I, Come on. I, Let's I cheers it up. up. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay. You can blame me. Exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, but uh, seriously. I mean, everyone. Like. Not just you, like a lot of people, of course, even I'm sure your mom, your dad, your my parents too. Yeah. That's why. And you know what? I feel like the most important thing is you have to embrace it. Yes. You have to accept. Sure and guess do. what? Learn. You have yes. to learn from it. And guess yeah. what? We live and learn and move forward. And sure. the next thing yep, you know, all oh, that is out. <laughs> Wait a minute! I'll fight you with I'll fight you with mine. Okay, oh there you my go. God. And me, <laughs> and me too, and me too, and me too. <laughs> you know, what I'm and you know what? Yeah, and you know what? That's we live and learn. That's how it is. But the question, but I hope, okay? I hope the people don't get me. Like I said, in, you know, it kind of no. hurts me when I hear something about when somebody says womanizer. Like my, they were telling my mother, like, because she would go in places and they'd be like. Oh, but I think you are not more young because I'm not me, but I am. My mother's like, first of all, she's like, I don't speak Tagalog. She speaks <laughs> Kunti Lang. So, what the F is that? Tell me what they said. They were like, she said, uh, Babae, Dami. So, I'd be like, oh, so they're telling you that I'm a chick boy. They're telling you that I'm a, I'm a, a womanizer. I says, I don't think I'm a woman. I think I was a pleasurizer. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think, oh, oh my God, I'm going to feel that. Yo, Lally, a a a I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that. No, Lally, Jacobs, a pleasure. Oh I wasn't God. a womanizer. I was a pleasurizer. I didn't think that oh there was going to be strict. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> 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 I didn't think it was going to be so hard when it shouldn't have been. But I guess, you know, there's some Klingons. There's some people out there that yeah. want to. You want to say, oh, he's like this. He's just going to do you like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I was not raised to disrespect woman. I was not raised like that. My father taught me well. 55 but years. 55 years, my mother and father <laughs> never cheated on. God I bless. That. I wish, I am so jealous of my father. Because he kept his penis to his wife. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I'm so, like, like, I'm so jealous. That's I, I look it. up to him because... He loved one woman, one one woman, mm -hmm. which is my mother, his whole entire life, and she yeah. was a hot, she was a hot Filipino woman herself. That's why he was like, "Hmm, there you go, yeah. Shanghai." At that time, she was skinny. You know? <laughs> Shanghai. Lumpi, Lumpi Shanghai. You know, she was, you know, she was yeah. very sexy. Oh my god! So, yeah. So that right there was like. Word world. <laughs> oh my god. I mean like right. so sorry. but you know what? You know what? Okay, let me let me give you uh, my, my thought about it. Okay. okay. They said like the the first marriage is like a trial, right? The second, the yeah. third, or whatever. But yeah. I feel like when you're on that stage right now, especially in your 40s, the next person that you will you will uh, how do you I say this? Like, you want to get married to? I will love her that, for everything she offers. For everything, you know why? You know why? Because I you don't want to repeat. You don't want to repeat the past. You yeah. want to make sure that every single fucking shit that you did with we'll never, some <laughs> we'll never, we'll never ever. Yes. I don't want to grow, grow. I don't want to grow gray exactly. hair. Exactly. So I'm you good. just want to make sure that when before you were not like as as romantic or as as patient as as the, now you, you, you always look at different girls. But now it's just like I just yeah. want to be with this yes. girl. I yes. want to be like my mom and my dad. That I just want to. I don't want to stick my dick to anybody girl. That's right. I just want to be truth. with this person, and yeah. I want to make sure that. I will love her till I grow older. I want to share till my remote control with her. Basically, yes. until, until one of my kidneys fall fa fail on me. Exactly. And exactly. My liver, my heart goes. I want to be with a girl that's going to love me regardless of my past, regardless of anything. Exactly. You just have love to me for who I am. And exactly. I'm going to love her until the day that you know she goes until the day. I think it's about time that I do settle down and I do yeah. find... Uh, that the person, right. the right yeah. girl. But you know what? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. This girl that you will meet and you will settle down, you know, in the near future, 
Mm-hmm. And not in the near future, maybe in a few, I don't know, in a few weeks or whatever. But guess what? That person is going to be lucky. But guess what? She, make sure so that you love her too. So yes. So yeah. Alive. And you know what? You know what? Guess what? You, you have to, it, it has to be go, goes um, hand in hand, right? She has to reciprocate you and you have to yeah. reciprocate. Yes, her. that's right. It's balance. And and it's it has balance. to be balanced. And guess what? And pleasure love each other. other. Pleasure rise and each pleasure each other. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm listening. Oh my God! I will God. never, I will never forget that word. Thank you. That's you. You are not. You listen. <laughs> so this is a picture. So this is a picture of my mother and father when they were. They got my mother. Oh my God! Are you handsome? Oh my God! Oh my God! You are so hot until now. And that's your dad. Yeah, my father. Yeah. He's Italian, so you know he's a hard ass. My father's Italian, so. He has a hard side wow. to him. Wow. My mother, I so told my mother, I said, you look good to see you in the Philippines because you would have been a victim. No, no, no. I'm My God. My mother wow. was very, when she was, she got another picture, she was hot. She was a tall glass of water herself. You know, she was skinnier. She was, <laughs> she was, yeah. She was a little you know bit, what? You know, okay. Alex, you know what? Let me tell you, um, Tita, I hope you're listening in Tita, right? My dad and my mom always tell me this, especially my dad. Okay. I know. I, 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 well, Alex, hey, I won't get pregnant. Say? Alex, I Alex, won't, I won't get, pregnant. get pregnant. I'll add more tattoos in my body if you beat me in beach volleyball. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Hold that's me, it. Let me check my chicharonis. My chicharonis. <laughs> Chicharon. oh. Cause they crack right now. My knees crackle like chicharronis, you know. So, <laughs> I don't Lally, know, but I'll okay. try. Watch I'll out! Try. Watch out! All right, watch out. Okay, all right. So this is what my mom and especially my actually my dad always tell tells me. Anak, you know what's anak, right? Like yeah, anak, you know anak, right? Yeah, yeah, anak, of right? Course. He always tells me like, always make sure that you find somebody, a guy who loves their parents, especially the mother, the mom, because you know why. If that guy loves your uh, his parents, especially the mommy, That's that means yeah. that means she will take care of you the way she takes he takes care of yes, the you're parents. Right. You're right. That's why. That's why. What, what I was observing you for an hour and a half actually, and I feel like that's how much you love your parents so much. Yeah. 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 And guy, ladies, whoever is like single right now. Mr. Alex Crisano, right there yes. for something. <laughs> yes, I would. That's and um, oh I just want to say that it's like I said. Yeah, I want to hear a question from you. Me? Okay. Ooh, me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. yes. Wait. Okay. Oh, I, okay. okay. There. I, I, wait. Okay. I have, she's I, she's she's on fire, but I want to hear what you got. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I have <laughs> I, I have a question. I have question number one. Okay. Okay. This, okay. this is a stupid question, but how how what's the size of your feet? 14. Okay, everybody oh, there. Oh, dear. 14 okay. Hi, mga bakla. 14, size 14. Okay, what's the question that you want to ask? Second question. I know you, you mentioned already about the tattoos and what, what other yeah. people think of you, but is there, st- is there still a biggest misconception about you that you, that you want to say to everybody who's listening right now that you want to come across? Um, I never misunderstood anybody. I don't know why they misunderstood okay. me. You know, I don't, I never no. judge anybody I speak with. I never call them names, but I guess being who I was in, in the, in the Philippines, everyone had something to say cause I was different and I respect their opinion, but get to know me first before you, yeah. you, you put my opinion or you, you trend judge. and judge me and put me in a situation where I got to hear something else, you know, and yeah. I know the truth. So I don't fight with, with, with people like that. I just keep doing what I do and and I embrace who I am and, and let them, that's not my problem anymore. My problem is exactly. is my life, my what well, my well-being, my family, my kids, mm-hmm. my you know, it's it's I can't I can't listen, I can't control nobody's thoughts about me. I can't control their mouths, even if they talk bad about me exactly. right now after this, which looks gordo, me ganyon telegeta say marami back back fighter yun. Yeah. When I'm back fight the young name, diba? He's say, so cute when I was in Tagalog. No, because he's okay. saying, they be like, oh, talaga, magaling, magaling, mag- magaling artista yan eh. But hindi yung mag- mag- walang camera, huwag tayo na hayop yan eh. 
Hayop yun eh. Uh, Hindi ako ganyan. Yeah. Hindi ako yeah, ganyan. Oh I think you're see is yeah. what you get. And like I said, it's it's all a facade. What they wanted to put out there because of who I was. Mm-hmm. I got death threats in the Philippines. I got emails from when I was starting up all the way until 2009. People were threatening and saying things to me because of you know, certain things. I, I got mm-hmm. people trying to you know, scam on me on, on like bar fights. And I was like, I didn't even do nothing. Why are you, why are you trying to bring me to, 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 yeah. to the police station? Like you're just making a scandal. Yo, what are you doing? Like if you want to, if you want a bottle of alcohol, I'll give you a bottle of alcohol. I don't, you don't have to make, you know, make Awai and then at Kawawa and then yeah. I go, oh, so again, okay, no, okay, okay. So again, the guy saying, yo, 1,000 pesos to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I know. I know the system. Or the same. Like, what Monty Corpus is saying in here, he says, uh, Alex, say it. Forget about it, you know? Forget about in it. Italian, yeah. Forget, forget about it. Wait, before we end this, this uh, it's an hour and a half. I know I told and, you it's yeah. only an hour. I'm so sorry, but we're no, having No, keep so going. Fun. Listen, I got a whole... <laughs> just for you, my but, kababayan. Kababayan. Mahamal kita. Sobra oh, nang miss talaga yung saya-saya yung doon. Sobra. Yeah. Oh my God. Sobra. When are you coming back to... to uh, and, 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 Do you have any plans to go back in the Philippines? And when are you coming back in, in Staten Island? In, um, come, come on, so we can I, hang I, out too. I have to make sure that my father's, you know, in a good place. I have to make sure that he's doing well for at least a week or two so I can t- go home and, you know, take care of certain things. Um, until then, I have no exp- uh, specific date. I have no um, time right now, but when I do, you definitely, you, you definitely are going to get in contact with me. I know Eric's probably going to talk to you, and I'm going to talk with Eric too. Oh, yeah. we got a little business. We got a little business we got to talk about too, because you know I do believe you know the reincarnation after the, all this, you know this the storm. We all we all can we all can build and help each other and and make a better and brighter so future true. for kids for the kids that. You know that that think they can never make it. Or I told Eric, listen, I didn't I didn't go to college, but I, I got to play professional ball. God bless, man. I mean, you yeah. give those stories and share them with with kids that thinking like, oh, I'll never make it. I'd be like, you're wrong, you're wrong. Never say never. Like I never say die. Never say never, man. Because life is amazing. If you just keep doing the thing you love, people look up to you. Exactly. No matter exactly. what it is. No matter what it is, that shows that you never stop your love of what you do. People see that. They see the passion. They see so much. They'd be like, I want to be with this guy. I want to be next to him. I don't care what they say. He's passionate. He's real. That's going to get me places. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it's, that's what life's yes. about. Amen. Right? Amen. What about, okay, for my last question, what about coaching? Coaching in the Philippines to. or coaching yes, here? If I given a chance, to. will you do it? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. For the for the big guys, um, for for anything that they asked me to do, um, for the what I learned playing basketball, it was all about hard work. Uh, you know, a lot of people mm-hmm. don't have that that heart and, and fight. So, um, I can share my heart and experience and, and let them know how I played. You know, one of the greatest players I played against was Daniel Alfonso. Um, it was a battle, Daniel Alfonso. It was he was a physical Filipino that. You know, it was his footwork, his speed, his moves. I was like, damn, this guy's good. And, um, you know, those experiences you share with people, like, I, I, I was amazed that this guy can actually go that hard. And he was that good, Daniel Alfonso. And, um, you know, it's it's something I would love to do. Something I would love to do is just, like I said, if, if the time is right and, and if they want me back, I don't do it for the money. I don't care about money. I don't really care about money. I love just being around people that love the sport. Um, never really cared about, you know, that fortune. Because I, if I did, I'd be rich now. <laughs> but I'm rich with family. I think that's the best thing that I can say that can make me uh, happier now is that family don't come with a price tag or, or, or an attention, uh, attention span for money. You know, uh, I can trust them. I can trust my family. You know, I can love them. I don't. Okay. They're real. They're real. So, yeah. Get out. You know what, Alex? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Talking to you, I, I really thought earlier, um, even last week, I thought like, 
oh my god how are we going to you know like um it, talk to to, to this uh, alex crisano was like well, a he's our very first, popular he's our and, first professional oh, athlete, you know? yeah i appreciate that thank you and thank then you so guess much. what and guess what i've I've learned, and Ichikas and I learned so much from you. That I appreciate that. You cannot judge from my, from my heart. Man, I appreciate that. Yes, you cannot judge anybody from what you hear on the media, even if they're so popular, even if you look up to them as in the bad boy image. And yeah, but when we started talking to you, dude, I swear to God, you have a very, very amazing little cute amazing- heart. Hello, <laughs> Kitty Heart. <laughs> I got, you a, I got you do. I got an amazing, I, I, I got an amazing father. You. I got an amazing mother. You know, when I look at them, and like I still see them, they're still together, even though in the situation right here, it almost brings a tear to my eye. Um, uh, you know, I told you it's um, it's very emotional for me because, you know, being home and you know seeing my father go through this, and I never he's thought this dementia. man, you know, he's got mm. dementia, he's got Alzheimer, and you know he comes back around wow. every once in a while. And, you know, he, he looks at me, he goes, you're my son, right? And I go, yeah, of course. He goes, I know it. I know. I feel it. And I says, that's good because I feel it too. I'm sorry. I just want to. <laughs> no, I uh, but your it's, eyes. it's no, but Dementia it's the truth because alone. I guess see me coming home and, you know, me seeing more to life than just being famous and being, having money and attention. And it was the greatest thing to do. I think um, I, I really uh, embraced the, the, the fact that, that, uh, you know, He's still fighting. My father is not gone. He's still fighting. And it's uh, hard. It's hard to swallow. But I know he's in there. And I know that, you know, he sees me every day. And he sees that I'm doing everything for him. I'm, I'm bathing him. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing everything. And, and I expect my kids to do the same to me, you know, when time comes. But, you know, we all ain't perfect. But it's not how we start the race. It's how we finish. Remember that. It's not how I started the race. It's how I finished. So, you know. Oh. And oh, I'm going to finish strong. I'm going to finish strong because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really in Pinoy by heart. And when I see the life out there and I see the squatter area, and they, they just, they're so lab on Sabuhai. They're so, they're so, they don't care what they have on their feet. They don't care what they wear. And I look at them and I'm just so fucking amazed by, it's not about what they have. It's not about what they wear. It's about what's here. That's what... And it was like, when I see that shit, that shit, it gives me the tingles because they don't care. They love life. They love life. And I love the fact that they just don't really give a fuck what people say. And you know, the squatter area, they embrace. I love the masa. I love the squatters. They're the most realist motherfuckers I ever met. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'm the right because you know why? Um... It's not just Filipino thing. I mean, I'm touched because um, I everybody think everybody thinks of you like sorry. <laughs> so no. I'm very happy because everybody thought of like you know like you're you have a bad boy image and everything. And then yeah. I felt it because the fact that you're when we started texting, you know, like we, we we spoke and then you were like, oh, I'm taking care of my my mom and my dad. And yeah, I felt it. It's like. It's not Filipino all in me. people. That's the Filipino in me. Everyone, I'll be honest with you. A lot of my friends are like, I always like remind them, like, why can't you just you know go home or take care of your dad or even call? But they're like, oh, they're okay. But guess what? From a person like you know, like a, a bad boy image, and you really like took a chance and you know gave up all, everything to take care of your parents, and it's like I don't care. That's you, you know, know that's I. I mean, ako kasi I'm I'm. I am a, a a daddy's girl, and I love my my dad so much, and my mom, and Princess. especially my dad. Surprise. And I feel like Surprise. I really I'm like surprised because I would do anything for my parents as well, especially to my dad. My dad passed away, but I mean, imagine you my as yeah, my condolences. Yeah, I mean, yeah, imagine you as you know, like a well, a big it's, giant. Like everybody thinks like you're a bad boy, and then you're like, no, wow, let me let me take care of my parents and. Yeah. Who would ever Jeez. thought about that? I mean, I mean, I, I, they, because they gave their. I always. This is how I look at it, guys. Yeah. Our, our, our parents gave up sacrifice everything. A lot. Sacrifice a lot for us. 
it's not just a Filipino thing. It's anybody. Like yes, they gave right. up everything. They even if like they have to even like like do anything, sell or whatever for us yes. to give us a you know a good education, um right. uh, that's right, um a shelter, everything that they want to make sure our parents wanted to make sure that we're so comfortable. And guess what? But yeah. by the time that we're like 16, 18, 20, 21, we started talking talking shit about them. We don't even care about them. We don't even ask that's them the how they're that's well. the truth. And then all of a sudden it's like when they're gone, that's a time that you you regret it that they're gone. And it's like I don't want to wait. Yeah, and, I don't want to wait until that time yeah, comes. That's what I I'm didn't like, want to so, Natasha ko ha, sobra Natasha. Yeah. This is what we love. This is what this is what I appreciate about when we when we started doing Zoom. This just much only Alex. Would you believe? Yeah. Yeah. And talking to different different. Uh, it's a nostalgia adventure with um, celebrities and. Um, yeah, I seen it. I seen you had Jim Goy. Is that? Is that yeah, yeah, it's like different yeah. people, and then it it humanizes them and talking to them like, oh, these people are just like us. They're, they're also yeah, crazy. And yeah, fun yeah. loving. It's, and you know, it's different when you got to talk to some. You get what I'm saying? It, it, it's I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I'm just speak for myself. And I hope this this resonates and it, and it holds weight to everybody else. Everybody's gonna play a role in life. You got to stick up to what you make money off of. You got to be who you are. Yeah. At the end of the at the end of the fucking day, it's not really who you are. It's what you it's what you are. And that shit, exactly. you know, that kind of that kind of hurt me because people would think I'm so like. I'm not. They would say you're not. You're not well educated. You're not. And I'd say why? Because I'm not you. Why? Because I have tattoos. Why? Because how I yeah. speak is very straightforward. No, exactly. I'm sorry. I'm just different. Oh, wow. But I don't want to hurt. I'm not. I'm not out to hurt nobody. But it's just the way life is, man. So everyone's gonna have this. This image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought about my dad and my, my parents and it's like wow like you're no, it's not just being you, Filipino listen, you, you share yeah. you shared a tear you shared a tear with me and that's and that's good yeah I yeah first time to uh, thank you ha huh? oh yes. my god we said no. yeah, this, <laughs> is, this is this is the yeah, first yeah, time yeah. I ever cried yeah, we on, talk, we on, talk about... I never cried on TV in the Philippines <laughs> <laughs> um, got, first time that we talk about our parents and it's yes, really you know yes. it, it, it goes straight and to it's our real. heart right? it's, it's real. real it's real it's real pain it's real, it's real, real life exactly. you, know, you, you don't want to miss in life anybody nobody's paying think. us right like it's just yeah. like real talk especially yeah. now because of the, the this COVID that we don't know what yeah. the COVID is, yeah. is, is sickening yeah. I think it's the worst thing that ever happened besides the Spanish flu back in the 1800s yes. um, <laughs> it's <laughs> It's something that we can't. It's like it's repeating. The, 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 history, like, oh. the history is repeating itself, you know. And, yes, exactly. But we just gotta listen, man. Like I said, I, as mm. as 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 hard headed as I can be, if the president says, um, a physician, a professional, you got it. I'm staying in. I ain't stupid. I ain't gonna, <laughs> listen, I I made it through a storm in the Philippines. I, I'm not gonna die here with COVID. Uh, no exactly, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I want to say that everybody. Oh my has god. Been, Everybody that has been passed by that, I want to say, you know, my condolences to everybody who's got sick by it, who, who died. Yeah. And I'm sincerely saying this from my heart that, you know, nobody needs to die like that. It's suffering. It's it's pain. It's it's really something that, you know, you got to protect yourself and your loved ones. Mm -hmm. So. Exactly. You know, like, oh, my God. Thank you, you mean, so oh my God. much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for thank you. Uh, spending your Memorial Weekend with us as well. Oh, my God. Oh, listen. Well, thank tita, you. Yes, happy Memorial Day weekend. And Tita and Tito. Everybody. Oh, my God. Oh. Guys, okay. Oh, my God. 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 Bad boy ka ni, but maganda ng puso yan ni. Eh. Oh. oh, there you go. Alex, do you have any, ano, okay, before we, we end this, um, uh, of course, we want to say hi to. Can 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 we say hi again to your mom and your dad? Can you pan the? Are they, is it okay? <laughs> hi, Tita. Say hi, hi dad. Tita say and hi. Tito. Hello. Say hi. Wow. Oh, your dad is so good. Don't looking. say Look bye. Like, say hi. Yeah. Well, 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 your mom is so good looking guy. too. Yeah. Hi, Tita. Hi, Tito. Right. Hi, Tito. Hi. Yes. Um, Alex, do you have any any last? Last, um, last message to everyone. Message. Uh, yeah. First, okay, I would like you to say a last message to your mom and dad, and to everyone who's your, all your fans and everyone that are watching and uh, listening I to think, you. 
I, I, I want to say thank you, everybody, for putting up with my shit, uh, putting up with me, for being different. Um, but understanding me at the end of the rainbow, you know what I'm saying? At, at, at the end of the storm. That everybody, you know, we all make decisions in life. We learn from them. We live and, and we also uh, share them. So people don't make mistakes like that. And to my um, mother and father, they always known they had a place on my heart because they have a, I have a tattoo of them on my chest. You got to take this. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to show too much. You see that? Oh, oh, I can see oh it. my God. So yeah. So like when wow. I shake them up, you know, <laughs> you know um, but thank you for the free nipple. I know. <laughs> The oh my God! Thank you. Free you. Testing for on my nipple. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say, is, please, please understand me that even before, um, life is beautiful, man. You can't always, you know, yeah, you can't always get what you want. All I could say is like this: live your life, never judge, love, share a blessing, share a lesson, and let's grow together. That's it. Aww. Oh my God! All right, and on that note, <laughs> on that uh, note, on that, I'll be honest with you. I feel like I, I'm, I'm not a psychic or anything, but I feel like you will have a better future. I swear. After this pandemic, just keep on pushing. Uh, you know, I know yes. you take care of your parents, but you know what? This is keep number on pushing. one. This no, I swear. One. If you go back to Staten Island, especially in Staten Island, in New York, in New Jersey, yeah. a lot of the Filipino community will definitely support you and hire you to be to be one of the the coach of, of the yeah one of the, i would love to do uh, it yes. i love i mean coach. Love it. Yes. Whatever, and yeah, i hope yeah. by that time you will not forget about us You'll i be like, don't forget Who's listen to me Who's i just like i said i, I just want to say thank you to everybody and <laughs> in, in uh, before i go and before i hang up i just want to say thank you to everybody even even the ball clubs um the kawankos um manny pagalilan um, jo, uh, po, uh, po, uh, Parasol, Coach Bo, Bo Parasol, uh, Mikey Romero, everybody that gave me a chance to showcase my talent, my personality, the person who I am, and let me do what I had to do to have a long career. I want to say thank you all. Um, but this saga is not over yet. The saga will continue. I just need to reformat, and I'll be exactly. back. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love you all. Yes. You guys, you Mr. Not? Alex Gary okay. Oh Let's my god. Do and thank Let's you do so Oh wait, by the way, thank you so much to Eric. Eric, thank you. Eric. Oh, Eric. oh, oh my god, Eric, I love so you, much. Eric. Thank you. Sobra, I love love. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We'll do our, we'll do our last toast. Oh Jesse, get your get your thing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get it, okay? All right. Alex and, guys, Alex and everybody else, thank you for listening. Yeah, and this has been yes, thank you all. over a glass or two. Happy New Year. Why not the bar? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Guys. Bye, thank you. Love you. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Happy